안녕하세요. Hello everyone. I hope you've enjoyed our prior videos. Today we're going to show you how to hit a great tennis forehand in five simple steps. Enjoy. So, today I'm going to show you how to hit a great tennis forehand in five simple steps. So today we're going to start with the grip. So we're going to have the semi-western grip, the most commonly used grip on the tour. And to find this grip, you're going to have your racket in the flat position and just slap your hand right on top of the grip so your pointer finger knuckle is facing off. You can also find it by just kind of like you're going to pat a dog when you slap your hand on top there. And that is the semi-western grip. Uh, why are we going to use this grip? So the reason why we're using the semi-western grip and why so many pros use this grip on tour is because it allows them to hit uh, powerful shots from various types of uh, heights of balls. So whether the ball be above um, your head, you can still handle the, the uh, ground stroke. Whether it be waist high, right where you want it, definitely you can handle it. And if it's also a low ball, you can also handle that, handle that type of ball. This is why probably 80-90% of the pros on tour use this grip. And that's what we're going to use today in this video. Alright, so step two is the ready position. One of the most important steps. So the way you prep is the way you play. If your preparation is on, your hit is um, 9 out of 10 times, you're going to hit a good ball. So with holding the semi-western grip, you want your wrist in this locked position. And moving up the arm now, you want both of your elbows out. So if you're into mathematics or into, um, into that type of thing, you want your elbows in a obtuse angle. In the left hand on the throat of the racket, both elbows uh, with a little bit of uh, flexation here. Okay? And I like to um, show you here and show my students the elbows will be about uh, two ball lengths off of your body. Now, moving to the lower part of your body, your knees will be bent, your behind will be out, and your back here, as you can see my back, back will be straight. Okay? And that is the ready position. Moving from step two, the ready position, we're going to now get into the backswing. Also in the preparation phase of the stroke, the better your backswing, the better you're going to hit. Okay, so I like to encourage a short backswing in a perfect ready position with the wrist locked, the racket head out, elbows out, knees bent, back straight. I like to break the backswing into two parts because it's um, a loaded step. Part one of the backswing, when your opponent hits the oncoming ball, you're going to do a little split step to get yourself ready to move in any direction. If the ball goes to your forehand side, you're going to then just turn to the right after your split step. When your hips and shoulders turn to the right or they're parallel to the side fence, you're going to just release the left hand off the throat of your racket as your hips and shoulders turn. So here it is, part one of the backswing. Split step when your opponent hits the ball, do your unit turn, and you can just do your adjustment steps. Notice that it's pretty much the same as my ready position except now my hips and shoulders are turned, my elbows in that, same, in that um, that same position, two ball lengths off my body. That's part one of the backswing. Now, part two of the backswing. From your turn position, boom. Part two is just moving the racket head down with your shoulder. So it's from here and here. I see this so often, not breaking your wrist to, or not moving your racket head down, uh, not moving it down at all, but moving it down by bending your knees and moving your shoulder down. And you'll be able to reach a better is the slot position. Here's part two of the backswing. Do your, your turn, 
part one, and now part two. Shoulder moves the racket head down. Take a picture of the oncoming ball or of your opponent or of the net. Put the emblem of your racket and reach this slot position, okay? So that's part one and part two of the perfect backswing. After step three, the backswing, now we're gonna go into the forward swing of the stroke. The thing about a step-by-step -step video is it kind of breaks up the stroke. So the stroke isn't broken up like a robot, like a machine, it's actually fluid. It's a very smooth stroke. So from your slot position and from your backswing, the forward swing goes hand in hand. You go right into it. So from your turn position, your unit turn, you're in your slot position. Next comes the forward swing. So as the ball is coming in and when it's in, the proper um, comfortable spot to hit, where you're gonna initiate your contact point is very important. Contact point is gonna be just at your front foot. So at the front foot is where, or out in front of you, is where you wanna contact the forehand with the semi-western grip. With other grips, we can talk about where the contact points are. You can um, leave comments, ask questions on where should I hit, I hit the optimal forehand. But with the semi-western grip, contact the ball out in front of you at the front foot. So let me just show you right here. Boom, that's where you wanna hit, right there. Okay, so now, what mechanics of the arm do you wanna use to move your racket head out. You want to use your shoulder. So from your slot position, right here, your wrist stays locked in this right angle position, and your shoulder then moves your racket out and your elbow out to extend to a straight line. So your arm, your shoulder is driving that forehand deep to your opponent's side of the court. A long forehand stroke when you're at the baseline, using your shoulder, extending the arm. Why well, I encouraged in the very beginning in step two in the ready position, having the elbows out, is if the elbows are inside and close, or if they're straight even, you won't be able to extend your arm out, okay? You won't be able to reach this position here, this extended position of the arm. So you need to hold that, el that um, bend of the elbow on your backswing. So let's just go over the forward swing one more time. And then go here, do your turn, boom, slot position. Forward swing is uh, created with the shoulder, extending the arm out, contact points in front of you. And that is the forward swing of the stroke. So we made it to step five on how to hit a great tennis forehand in five simple steps. Let's just review all the steps here, one through four. So step one is the grip. We, we talked about the semi-western grip. Adding the dog, slapping the hand right on top of the grip. Going to step two, the ready position. Knees bent, elbows out, but elbows still a little bit bent in obtuse angles. Left hand on the throat of the racket. Back straight, it's the ready position. Step three is the backswing. And remember, the backswing we broke into two parts. Part one is the split step and the unit turn. Boom, then releasing the left hand. Going right into part two of the backswing. Racket head moving down with the shoulder, maintaining your bend. Also moving your racket head down with the knees. Keeping the elbow bent so you can then create power and extend your arm out to the contact point. Step four, which is the forward swing, you go right into it. Remember I talked about the fluidity of the swing. So right when the ball is in front of, is at your front foot, right here, then you want to just drop, boom, right into the forward swing by using your shoulder, extending your arm out, hitting in front of you, out in front. Step five is the follow through. So this is like the cherry on top of the stroke, finishing the swing. There are three different follow throughs in tennis. Rafa and Nadal kind of added a fourth follow through, the over the head follow through. We're just gonna talk about the simplest follow through, which is over the shoulder. The follow through will make you use your shoulder and drive through the ball more easily, and it will also make the ball drop. So from the forward swing, driving the arm out, watch what happens with now my elbow and where my racket head finishes at the follow through position. Boom, 
elbows up by my chin, racket head is down my back, okay, like you're going to scratch your back. I always teach the kids this, also the adults, it works scratching the back on the finish. We'll make you drive your arm out, it will make that ball drop by finishing the swing. You won't be able to finish your swing or follow through if your arm tightens. You'll see this, I see this a lot with um, people who lift weights or just people who are self-taught and then they come to me for lessons. They don't have a follow through so their shots are flying. You have to have the follow through to drop the power that you created um, on the other side of the court. Hey, we can talk about um, the other two follow throughs in other videos, uh, but those are, that's a little more advanced. So those are the five simple steps, how to hit a great tennis forehand. Thank you all for watching the five simple steps to hit a great tennis forehand. I hope you enjoyed. Here's everything put together. Practice, practice, practice. On young. Bye.